uh, I've decided long time ago to do the following, uh, that in any circumstance which is only intellectual, I will always put in something which is sentimental. And uh, I remember that at one point during the war, I was arrested by the Germans because I wanted to cross the Atlantic and to not get into the German uh, Hitler army. And I was in a prison and uh, it was horrible. It was a cellar in the city of Metz and there was only an, a window to let a little air in and there were, normally you could have two or three prisoners and they had up to 40 or 50 just pressed once against the other and uh, uh, waiting until they are interrogated seriously. And I said, my God, this is horrible. And uh, would you be able to be happy in a, in a situation like this? And I said to myself, well, you should try. Why don't you try to be happy in one of the worst circumstances of your life? And then I had an idea. I got a pencil from one of the boys from the people there, and I went towards the door. And uh, on the door, which was a new, very good door in that cellar uh, of that building, I began to write a novel on top. <laughs> that I fell in love with a beautiful girl in the mountains of Himalaya. And you know, and I wrote it, and I wrote it, and I wrote it, and I completely forgot that I was in prison. <laughs> <laughs> so that I gave to myself the proof that even in the worst circumstances, there is always something which you can do with your brain and your heart not to be affected and to say, oh, they're going to kill me, that's going to happen, this is horrible, that will last so many days, etc., etc. And finally, after about a week, they let me go because they couldn't find anything against me. <laughs> but I've never forgotten this, that I was able to be happy even in a prison. You know what? Wow. <laughs>